Hello, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night, whenever you're watching, y'all. I didn't even know if I was going to bring y'all this review, but as you can see, it is a cloudy 63 degree day. I got my ESPN in the morning, and I'm enjoying a fresh cup of French press coffee is why I wanted to bring y'all this review. As you can tell, I've already got into the candle, so this is not the first, second, nor third burn. This candle is going to put you in the frame of mind of not grinded coffee, but fresh coffee beans, like a dark roast coffee bean that's aromatic, it's robust, it's pungent. And when you get into those darker roasts, the darker roasts are richer and more woodsy. So it's just like the best scent ever for resetting, but that deep roast coffee you're going to find that is using a lot of perfumes as well. A lot of luxury brands do tamper in the coffee lane, but it's a certain roast of coffee they use. And then if you look at the tonka, well, what's tonka? Tonka is a bean. And the best way to describe a tonka bean is it's herby. It's woodsy. It's aromatic. It has a slight citrus note. But it also has a definitely bottom line of a vanilla. So the best way to describe a tonka bean is if a vanilla bean pod, a vanilla bean, and a tobacco flower had a baby, you would birth tonka. So you got that woodsy, rich, aromatic, softness of a vanilla, all things that would scream luxury, y'all. So in my bedroom... I could say this is a beautiful reset scent, but this candle is so bomb, so fly, y'all, that it's giving me a straight fall vibe. I'm not going to finish it because it's too good to use as my reset note. I'd rather use Paris Cafe or my canned coffee candles from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to use this one when I want to dress to impress. So in my space that I showed it in which was my bedroom you all that thing sat at a soft nine that coffee note wafted it took over your coffee as your awakening notes but that tonka is given a little hint of masculinity but the coffee will teeter the line to make it unisex I mean this just smelled so good y'all and in the medium-sized room sitting here doing my makeup before work I didn't even want to leave the room. The scent was so intoxicating. You all, the Lobos makes a Tonka scent. Look at the pink pepper. Look at the vanilla note. Look at the Tonka bean note in that perfume. Yeah, luxury. I'm telling y'all, this line don't get enough love. And then this, y'all, this was after a six-hour shift. The candle solidified and... The lid was off and the room smelled amazing. Also, in that medium space, it wafted down the hallway. So it's a full-on 10. Out here in the extra large space, coming at the top of the key, I can give it a solid 8, you all. This candle reminds me of the perfect fall date. We going to a cigar bar. We going to a jazz club. Look at the notes in the Replica Jazz Club. Tell me what you see. You see Tonka? You see coffee? Or better yet, if you all have a backyard and a screening porch or even a fire pit, right? And you sitting on the porch enjoying your morning cup of coffee in the fall while hubby out there raking the leaves. And he just giving you a nice view and you got your coffee in your hand. It's woodsy. It's aromatic. It screams fall. And the reason why I'm doing this review, because I got a secret. If you can find these, shh, SAS, don't tell nobody. This luxury line don't get enough love, y'all. And being that it gave me an eight out here, what's the perfect pairing for coffee? Chocolate. So once I extinguish this, this is definitely one of the ones you want to extinguish properly. Because one... You don't want to damage that ceramic coaster lid. I call it a coaster because I'm going to find a use for it, right? But I want to extinguish it this way because that coffee note lingers. That robust French roast lingers. That woodsiness lingers. But on the back counter, I was already 
uh, in my finisher crate with this baby right here and just let that chocolate note picks up. I mean, this combination was serving. You all, if you can find these candles, they would definitely be one to have because you're going to set yourself up for a beautiful fall. Coffee and Tonka, I'm telling you, the DMs that I got when I scroked this for the first time on Instagram, you all, this was found in Chicago and not even a test store in the smallest of the smallest of the boutique stores. And I don't know the reason for it, but all I know is I have a couple and I want y'all to experience this too. And I'm going to see y'all in the next review. Bye.